Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, or maybe Forensics Unplugged Channel. Built Hamburg air con bomb. It was a time of war where one air con bomb would rule them all. Never used this product before. So what is it, first of all? It's an antimicrobial air con deodorant. A one-shot treatment to kill, uh, to deodorize and neutralize bacteria, kills and prevents mold and fungi, which cause unpleasant odors. Virucidal against enveloped viruses. Well, I'm okay. I don't have any envelopes in there. <laughs> I'm here all night. Awful joke, that is. Contains fragrances. So this is not just a rattle can aerosol air freshener. It's like something you you fire off and you leave it, okay? So what are the, what are the instructions of destructions? Turn on the engine, run the air conditioned system for two minutes in recirculation mode. So I think that's manual on my car. So it doesn't suck in any air from outside. So it's the M mode as opposed to the A mode or off. Um, slide passenger seat fully back, which I, I've done. So we slide the seat back that way. I've also put a little cover over it just in case just I don't want to get, you know, there's a reason it's saying slide the passenger seat back. So I'm probably just being a bit cautious. Shake cam well. Um, and then it says depress one shot release button immediately place in the passenger footwell and do not discharge directly onto surfaces. So, so don't spray it onto things like a, like a, you know, normal kind of sprayer, deodorant, air freshener thing. Leave for three minutes with the car running. Turn off the engine and ventilate the car for six minutes before driving. Okay, so I need to start my car up, run it for two minutes with the aircon on in recirculation. Then let's just have a look at the trigger. So we'll pop this off. It's got like a catch. So when I put that down and catch it, it's going to, I assume, be spraying out all the gas out of here. And then I'm going to put that down there in the footwell. Like a flashbang, counter strike. Wob it in there. Grenade! You stop pissing around, John. This is supposed to be a serious review. Okay, why am I doing this on this car? Um, just because I think it's going to benefit from it. There was a little bit of a stinky thing going on when I first bought it. Nothing bad, but it smells a bit better now, but that might be me just getting used to it. So I know this, this gas is going to go all around, all this vapour. It's going to clean things up. It's going to get into that air con. It's going to work its way through the, the cabin filter and sterilise that or whatever the words are. So... That's my thinking behind what it's going to do. And hopefully my car will smell, smell nice and fresh and there'll be less horrible stuff kicking around. Um, one thing I forgot to say as well is this is like a, this costs 9 95 So it's not cheap, but it's like a treatment system rather than an aerosol. What do I use as normal aerosols? I use these designer fragrances. There's Black Cherry, this one. There's, no, sorry, there's, what's this called? Classic cherry, which smells fruity and quite nice, actually. You know, it's just a nice, fresh, fruity smell. Not overpowering, not, not too much twang. There's one called Black Code, which smells a bit like a, you know, like a nightclub. It's a bit gangster. It's not, I don't like the Black Code. And there's one called Fresh Linen, which is okay. Which is probably another one to go for. Um, so these are really strong. You just, a bit like the Auto Smart. Just one squirt in there and it will last a few weeks. So very good things. I wish, on my Built Hamber wish list... I wish Bill Hamber did the equivalent of this as well. Just a standard air freshener. Anyway, I'm going to start the car up, turn the camera off, and I'll come back when um, we're ready to put this thing in, okay? And I've got ventilation open here, and I'm going to go out of the garage while the flashbang, the air bomb, is, um, the air con bon bomb is running. You get the idea. I'll be back. Two minutes. Okay guys, don't want to loiter around in here a little, you can see. It's all running, so I'm just going to leave that running. And I'll stay out here, because I don't want to kill myself. Okay guys, so here we go, depress it, one shot and release the button, immediately place in the footwell. Do not discharge onto surfaces, so here we go. One, two, three. There we go. Ah. Oh. Ah. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, it's quite strong, that is. You can't see, can you? It's buzzing away in there. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been in there for three minutes, so we're going to turn this off. It's stopped doing its thing. So there we go, turn the car off. Hook. And it says, oh, we get a bit of, oh, what does it say? Do not just right, leave for three minutes, turn off the engine, ventilate car for six minutes before driving. So, let's put the lid on there. And uh, is there any mess? Is there any residues around here where it's all flying off? There isn't. Nothing kicking around, nothing on here. I didn't really need this. Just worried it's going to spit and do all sorts of funny things, but no mess at all. It's got like a citrusy smell. Let's go and open the other one. The garage has all been vented. Obviously, be very careful running your car in your garage because of the carbon monoxide fumes and stuff like that. So hopefully you know about that. So I didn't, you know, I've got the door open. It's blowing the hoolie out there. So it's air going all the way through. But I didn't stay in here while the car was running either because someone's going to say that. Always got to be prepared. Uh, right, so what I'm doing is I'm just leaving this door open as well. <coughs> and just give that six minutes of ventilation and then we'll wrap this up okay guys to wrap this one up final thoughts on aircon bomb a couple of things that i've learned about this you're probably better off doing it outside obviously but i'm doing it in a very very well ventilated garage i've already talked about that it's very strong so i'm going to give this a lot longer than six minutes to to vent out you know if i was to get into this car now and close all the doors I can feel it getting into my lungs. It's strong antifungal bacterial stuff. So I'd give it a bit longer than six minutes to vent out. Uh, other than this, I think you're taking a leap of faith with how well it kills bacteria and fungus and stuff like that. How are you gonna know? Um, well, you know, maybe I'll know in like three or four weeks time if the car's fresh, but it's a relatively new car. So maybe the best way to test this is on a real humdinger, you know, where that's really stinking and all that sort of stuff and see if it can really permanently deodorize and stuff like that however i've got enough faith in built hammer to know that whatever materials they use will probably do a good job at killing bacteria and viruses and all that sort of stuff so i'm happy with the product what are the thing the criticisms it's you know it's always important to criticize products we must criticize products um so some of the criticisms are it's a one-shot system it's nearly 10 pounds, so you use it once and it's gone, and then you've got to go and remember to buy it again. Um, and it would be nice to, if you could buy a pack of like smaller cans with the same output, almost like a little, like a little mini pouch, ammo pouch of them, you know, so that you could do like five treatments and maybe pay 25 pounds for five treatments or something like that. So it's a, you've got the tool to hand. That's the only thing, but apart from that, as always, um, the results I know are going to be good. And hopefully, my car, let's just go in here, you can't smell. But, I mean, it's smelling amazing. But hopefully, as well as smelling amazing, it's also sanitised it and deodorised and killed all of the bacteria and stuff like that. So, that's the Built Hamber Aircon Bomb. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've used this product and whether or not you think it's the bomb. <laughs> See you later, guys. Holding on to what I knew But the moment's gone Where was I when